well situated we are going live and welcome everybody to our home buyers seminar we are so glad that you are here. Uh, I just want to introduce our panel. I am Christine Olenek. We have Julie Setterland and Nicole Copans. We are all agents with Keller Williams um, Prestige Properties. And then Nancy Morgan is our guest speaker. She's from Westport Mortgage. Yay! So, yay! Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. So, what we're going to cover today fears versus facts about the home buying process realities of our market today, the six simple steps to home ownership, financing, and then the next steps. So fears versus facts, we're gonna have Julie take it over from here. Yeah, so fears versus facts about buying a home. You may think you can't afford to buy a home when actually, until you do the math, you won't know how much you can afford. Another thought may be to wait until the market gets better when there really is never a bad time to buy the right house. And maybe you're thinking, wait, I don't have enough money for a down payment. There are actually a number of different down payment options available for all types of buyers. And lastly, you may fear that you have to buy your dream house when the best way to get closer to buying your dream home is to buy your first home. So why buy now? Interest rates. Interest rates are still remarkably low. Your long-term investment grows. The diagram to the left shows how, over a span of 30 years, equity in a home can increase from 15,000 to 486,000. With home ownership, you build equity, your value appreciates, and you pay down debt. And of course, there is pride of home ownership because it's yours. Buying your first home is an emotional decision. A home represents personal tastes, provides stability and security, and not to mention tax benefits and wealth building. And every month you wait could bring increases in interest rates, home prices, or both. Owning versus renting. Why pay rent when you can own? As a renter, you have no tax benefits, no control, and, you're, and you are paying off someone else's mortgage when you could be building your own wealth. And now there might be some reasons you may have to wait. If you're changing jobs, this will impact your loan process and some lenders may need two years of employment records with one company. If you need time to work on your credit score or you may want the five bedroom on the water and the numbers only allow for three bedrooms on a cul-de-sac. Your choices are outside of your budget. And if you move around a lot, you may not have enough time to build enough equity to make your purchase worthwhile. And some of the realities of our market, the average price of a home in Fairfield County is around 770,000. And according to realtor.com, the market is moving in favor of buyers. And with interest rates at an all time low, it is a great time to purchase a home. And step one, find and hire your agent, Nicole Copens. You have to unmute, Nicole. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So find and hire your agent. And so as a buyer's agent, we educate you about the market. We analyze your needs and wants. We guide you to homes that fit your criteria, And most importantly, we will also coordinate your paperwork, negotiate on your behalf, and solve any problems that may arise. What are the benefits of a buyer's representation agreement? One, it sets the mutual expectations in writing. It also commits us to finding the perfect home for you. It confirms our exclusivity between the both of us. And as a buyer's agent, we are responsible and we would give you our undivided loyalty, obedience. You know, we would look into the disclosures, diligence. You can be assured that there's a lot of confidentiality between us accounting and any reasonable skills and care. And most importantly, again, 
as a buyer's agent, our duties are fiduciary. When do you hire your agent? You want to start the process as soon as possible. So it means now. And there is a timeline. You hire buyer's agent, you get your finances in order, you get your pre-approval, you start your home search, you find one and when you find one, you make sure you put that offer in. Inspections and mortgage process follows next. And then we take ownership and close. We move into our new home and we celebrate. Yay, very exciting. And step two, what is your buying power? <clears throat> With Nancy uh, Morgan from Westport Mortgage. Hi, everybody. Yes, I am Nancy Morgan with Westport Mortgage. I am a mortgage broker, and I have been doing this for coming on 19 years now. Um, so been seen a lot, and I'm happy to be here. So thank you for inviting me. So thank you. getting a mortgage is actually a little easier than a lot of people think it is. Um, it is very, you know, scary, and there's so much information out there. And yet when it's time for you, you know, it's like, how do you decide or figure out what's the right thing for you to do? So first, let's just talk a little bit about getting pre-approved. Why is it so important to get pre-approved, pre-qualified? Um, it's important for the three main reasons. You need to know what you can afford. It does make you a stronger buyer in multiple offer situations. And also like what I do when I, uh, speak with people when I pre-qualify them or pre-approve them, I go over with them a loan summary and an estimate of closing costs, which really encompasses the entire mortgage piece of the buying process because we are a team. Your realtor, your attorney, me, you know, we have a lot of people, there's a lot of cogs in the wheel. Mm -hmm. Now to get qualified, uh, there are different terms, pre-qualified, pre-approved, um, but really my true, I call it, you know, a certified pre-approval. That's my own personal term. I like to see, I like to run credit and I like to see, uh, your pay stubs. This is on the list here, W-2s or 1099s if you're self-employed, two years tax returns, if you are self-employed or you own other property, rental property, and two months of bank statements, wherever they may be. There are many different options, many different types of mortgages. At Westport Mortgage, we have over 20 different lenders, so we really run the gamut. We have jumbo and conventional loan products, and you can feel free to call and ask us about those. Um, the conventional loan limit for 2022, it's already started. It's gone up to $625,000, which is great. Mm -hmm. A mere five years ago, I think it was 418. So it's pretty good. We offer VA loans, which offer is a wonderful product for a vet um, or someone actively in the service. You can get 100% financing with no mortgage insurance, a rehab loan. You could put 3% down on a conventional loan, 10% down to 2 million. So like I said, we're running the gamut. If you wanna increase your wealth by investor, pro you know, investment properties, and then we also help and work with people whose credit you know, might have had a ding or two. You can also get a gift from a family member. A gift would have to be from a family member for 100% of the down payment. It used to not be that. And let's say a young person or a younger person who's starting out in their career and they can't quite qualify, but they know they can afford it or if, you know, their folks are willing to help, their parents can be a non-owner occupant and they would still get the benefit of being a primary resident, you know, a primary um, ownership. So the rate would be more favorable. Wow, many great options. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we also have, I didn't even put that on there, adjustable rate mortgages, you know, fixed rate mortgages, and rates are very, very low right now. So this is really important to understand when we go through um, getting pre-qualified is understand your mortgage, your monthly mortgage payment or what we call or I call your total housing payment, which is PITI, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. The principal is what you pay back basically to the bank, to yourself. The interest benefits the bank, but everybody has a little. Luckily, rates are low right now, so you're paying more principal than interest right now. 
taxes. We have to calculate your annual property taxes on a per month basis and your homeowner's insurance as well, because the lender wants to know that in case a tree falls on your roof, you are protected. In addition, if you're buying in a condominium complex, we have to um, include your homeowner association dues or, or uh, condo uh, charges or monthly common charges. There are a lot of different words in the mortgage world and real estate that mean the same thing, so you can hear them interchanged. Uh, but if you're in a condo, the HOA, if you're in a flood zone, uh, we have to calculate your flood insurance. And then if you're putting, if you're putting less than 20% uh, down, the mortgage insurance, and that makes up your total housing payment. So down payment, this is always a challenge to ask, believe it or not, where's the money coming from? Because it's an uncomfortable question at times. So, but there are many different ways to, um, uh, to get down payment. And it's best, again, to look at all of this before you start looking for a home, because your goal is to find the right home. That's your major goal. If you know you need a mortgage, let's get this done out of the way so that you can focus on that home and you have an idea of what those numbers are. And it's a relationship too, that you know people are looking for properties. I'm looking at this, I like it, run a scenario for me. But anyway, again, depending upon the loan type, uh, your down payment can vary from 0% to 20% or 50, whatever you want. And funds can come from 401k or retirement. You just need to check with your benefits administrator at your company, your savings, a gift from a family, you know, and that needs to be documented. So they're not always, you know, with it's, it's a good question to have, or if you have investments and when to liquidate. Them. And then this is a great little tool here, tips for a smooth loan approval. There are more do's and don'ts. I try to focus on the do's, uh, but please ask questions anytime, even if you think you might've heard it before, no matter who you're working with, if you're not sure, ask, ask, ask. Um, get pre-approved before home shopping, save your pay stubs, bank statements, W-2s, tax returns, and believe it or not, those are almost always more easily accessible than people think they are. Um, and stay current with the credit accounts. And then the don'ts are pretty big deal. And we do this when we have a purchase, we you know send this out. Don't make any major purchases. Ask me before you buy furniture. Uh, don't quit your job or retire because right before you close, we update your employment just to make sure you're still working there and you don't, we don't want to hear this. Oh, we just had their retirement party, which has happened. <laughs> uh, pay your bills because we, the credit gets updated at the end. It's not a hard pull, but it's a, it's a, um, it's that. And then don't apply or open for new credit. But again, if you're not sure, please ask. Uh, because it's a, it's a big purchase and we're here to help. So just working with Westport Mortgage, we have been uh, in business, I think, since 1996. Um, I started with them in 2003. I left for a little while and I've been back and I'm thrilled. Um, but we are accessible and ready to work at people's convenience. Um, we have extremely competitive rates. Our rates are excellent. We're fast. We're quick. Our processing is nice and smooth and we work on a referral basis. So our reputation is very, very important to us. So thank you very much and all the very best. Thank you, great information. So now that you're pre-approved and ready to go and you found out how much house you can afford, we're gonna find you your home. We will define what you're looking for, your needs versus your wants. We will educate you about the market and the neighborhood, and we will refine your search. What we look for is how the home compares in terms of size, layout, and value to other homes in the area, the potential resale value, big ticket items such as the roof, HVAC, maintenance, and any structural concerns. What you're going to be looking for is the layout, the space, location to work in schools, features, and amenities. And now step four, make an offer and negotiate. Julie? So you found your home and you're ready to make an offer and negotiate. So... We help you work through the offer price, the contingencies, and the terms. Uh, price, to help you determine a fair price, we provide market data, recently sold and currently active properties near the home you're making an offer on. The terms, 
there's actually much more to an offer than price. Uh, some of the details which we will help you navigate are schedules, conveyances, commissions, closing costs, home warranties, earnest money, all those crazy terms uh, that we'll define for you. Um, contingencies, again, are often referred to as conditions such as an inspection, financing, and timing. Um, but remember, you know, most everything is negotiable, and there is uh, that's where our experience and knowledge are a big help. Absolutely. Julie or Nicole. <laughs> Let's inspect this house. An inspection usually is scheduled seven to 10 days after the offer. The property inspection exposes any structural, hidden, or health and safety issues. Just remember, this is a normal part of the process and an experienced agent will help you through this. Inspection and repairs. Please don't sweat the small stuff. It is the big stuff that matters. Things like cracks and crumbling in the foundations, cracks inside of the house, over the windows, water stains in the ceilings, floors, and walls, faded or worn shingles, and any plumbing or electrical problems. And some homes will have the mold and termite issues. So these are the big stuff that you need to worry about. Absolutely. So once you go through the, the mortgage process and the inspection process and all negotiations are complete, you will then close and you will be a new homeowner. So congratulations. At the closing, be sure to bring certified funds, evidence of insurance, a valid ID, and you will get your settlement statement, a transfer of the clean title, and the keys to your new home. Celebrate, you are a homeowner. Once you are a homeowner, there's some things um, that you should do to protect your investment. You wanna maintain your home, perform routine maintenance on your home systems, depending on their age and style. Keep an eye on it. Watch for signs of leaks, damage, and wear. Fixing small problems early can save you big money later. And number three, keep a file of your receipts. And number four, consider a home warranty. Our commitment to you. We will educate you about the market. We will analyze your wants and your needs. We will guide you to homes that fit your criteria. We will coordinate all the paperwork. We negotiate on your behalf and we solve any problems that may arrive. So we thank you so much for joining us. If you have any questions, you can certainly ask them right now. Here is all of our contact information for you. And we thank you so very much. Please reach out to us anytime. Christine, Julie, Nicole, we are all here to help you. And certainly Nancy Morgan of Westport Mortgage. Thank you all.